Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to hop aboard our time-traveling machine and set sail to the Mediterranean, where we'll be exploring the captivating history of Sicily, the largest island in the region. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to Timeless Sagas, where we dive deep into the annals of history and bring you the most entertaining, informative, and, dare I say, hilarious content about the human past. So, buckle up, grab your popcorn, and let's embark on this fascinating journey through the ages in Sicily. Ah, Sicily, a land of contrasts, where the sun kisses the golden shores, and Mount Etna, Europe's tallest and most active volcano, stands tall as a constant reminder of the island's tumultuous history. And speaking of history, did you know that Sicily has been a melting pot of cultures and civilizations for thousands of years? That's right, from the ancient Greeks and Romans to the Arabs, Normans, and beyond, a myriad of peoples have called this island their home, leaving behind a rich tapestry of art, architecture, and traditions that can still be seen today. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. To truly appreciate the story of Sicily, we must travel back in time to the very beginning. Picture this, it's the 12th century BC, and the first settlers from the eastern Mediterranean, the mysterious Sicani, set foot on the island. Not much is known about these early inhabitants, but archaeological evidence suggests that they were later joined by the Alimians and the Sicils, both of which would play an essential role in the island's early history. Now, fast forward a few centuries to the 8th century BC. The Greeks, in their never-ending quest for expansion and trade, set their eyes on Sicily. They established Naxos, the first Greek colony on the island, in 735 BC. But, as we all know, the Greeks were never once to settle for just one colony, and soon, they founded cities like Syracuse, Akragas, and Selenid, which would grow to become some of the most powerful and influential centers of the ancient Mediterranean. And, of course, with great power comes great rivalries. The Carthaginians, who controlled the western half of Sicily, were none too pleased about the Greeks' expansion and influence on their doorstep. Thus began centuries of conflicts between the Greeks and Carthaginians, with the island serving as a battleground for these two ancient superpowers. But the story doesn't end there. Oh, no. Remember our friends, the Romans? Well, they entered the scene in 264 BC, kicking off the First Punic War against the Carthaginians. After a long and bloody struggle, the Romans emerged victorious, and Sicily became the first Roman province in 241 BC. Now, let me tell you, the Romans were pretty good at ruling their provinces, and Sicily was no exception. They built spectacular monuments, like the Roman Villa del Casal, with its astonishing mosaics, and developed an intricate network of roads, which allowed them to effectively govern the island and maintain control over its resources. However, as we've seen time and time again throughout history, all good things must come to an end. The Western Roman Empire began to crumble in the 5th century AD, and Sicily found itself at the mercy of a series of invaders, including the Vandals, Ostrogoths, and Byzantines. But wait, there's more. In the 9th century, a new power loomed on the horizon, the Arabs. They conquered Sicily in 827 AD and would rule the island for the next two centuries. And let me tell you, the Arab influence on Sicily was nothing short of transformative. They introduced advanced agricultural techniques, such as irrigation systems, which turned the island into a veritable garden. They also established bustling trade networks and built stunning palaces, like the Zaisa in Palermo, which still stands today as a testament to their architectural prowess. And then, just when you thought Sicily had seen it all, enter the Normans. Yes, those same Normans who conquered England in 1066 also had their sights set on Sicily. In 1061, they began their conquest of the island, and by 1091, they had succeeded in ousting the Arabs and establishing a Norman kingdom. Under Norman rule, Sicily entered a golden age, with the island serving as a cultural crossroads between the Christian and Muslim worlds. The Normans were known for their tolerance and encouraged a fusion of artistic styles, which can still be seen in the magnificent mosaics of the Capella Palatina and the Cathedral of Monreale. But, as with all great empires, the Norman kingdom eventually fell into decline, and in 1194, the island was conquered by the Holy Roman Emperor, Frederick II, who established the Kingdom of Sicily as part of the larger Hohenstaufen Empire. Now, I know what you're thinking, surely, Sicily's history can't get any more convoluted, right? Well, my friends, you'd be wrong. In the 13th century, the island was conquered yet again, this time by the French Angevin dynasty, which sparked a period of unrest and rebellion known as the Sicilian Vespers. In 1282, the people of Sicily, fed up with French rule, rose up in a violent revolt, which ultimately led to the island falling under the control of the Aragonese crown. 
And thus, the kingdom of Sicily became a part of the larger crown of Aragon, which later merged with the crown of Castile to form the kingdom of Spain. Under Spanish rule, Sicily experienced both periods of prosperity and stagnation. While the island remained a vital center of Mediterranean trade, it was often overshadowed by the growing power and influence of its mainland counterpart, Naples. Finally, in 1861, Sicily joined the newly formed Kingdom of Italy, a major milestone in the long and complicated journey that has shaped the island we know today. Throughout the 20th century, Sicily continued to evolve, grappling with issues like poverty, organized crime, and emigration, while also developing a thriving tourism industry that celebrates the island's rich history and cultural heritage. So, there you have it, folks, the story of Sicily, an island that has seen it all, from ancient settlers and Greek colonies to Roman conquerors and Arab emirs. And while its history has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride, it's this very tapestry of cultures and civilizations that makes Sicily the unique and enchanting place it is today. That's all for today's episode of Timeless Sagas. I hope you enjoyed this whirlwind tour of Sicilian history. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more historical adventures, and as always, stay curious, my friends.